Okay, so today's project is pretty basic, pretty simple. I'm building six boxes for my friends, as I mentioned in my video on Friday. Now, I'm not really going to show a whole lot about the box building process because there's already 5,000, well, there's already over a million different videos on YouTube of how to build a box. What I'm focusing on mainly in this video is the lids, which is going to be the main focus of this project. Now, I found a video, can't even remember how long ago it was I found it, a few months, maybe a year ago, of this man that calls himself the Craftsman. That's with no T. Uh, it's an unusual name. Kind of funny to watch, um, but it was very informative. Now, the polyacrylic video that I put out, was also kind of leading up to this. I kind of made a little bit of a teaser on my Instagram account. If you're not following me on there, check it out. Um, kind of active on there, probably a few different photos a week, depending on what I'm doing. Anyway, um, so he uses polycrylic to do a photo transfer onto wood, and that's what I'll be focusing on mainly today. Um, I've, ex I've messed around with it some, experimented, uh, done some practice and so that's kind of what we'll be focusing on today if you want to see more if you're interested in this technique stick around okay so we built our boxes uh, now this was my first time doing box joints I went and found a cheap dado stack at the pawn shop I think it was like 20 bucks and um, I set it up and used it didn't do so hot. I made a lot of mistakes. A lot of mistakes. Uh, <laughs> and then when it came to assembling, I made another because I didn't put the bottom panel in. That's my fault. But I corrected it. Uh, now we have six boxes and six lids to do. So I said in the introduction that I was mostly going to be highlighting my method for making the lids because that's something I haven't seen a whole lot of out there. Uh, and what I'm going to be doing is transferring a laser jet image. I had it printed out at the UPS store here in town onto these wood panel lids and then I'll be framing those out. I'm not going to process it, not going to document any of the uh, framing of the lids. Um, so let's get started. This process is messy. So if you don't want to get messy, find another method. Simple as that. Uh, but it works, and it works really well. Uh, let me show you a sample. Okay, and the process that I used for that was pretty simple, like I said. Um, all you do, lay down a relatively liberal coat of this water-based polycrylic that I purchased from Home Depot, I think. Yeah. And um, it's like 17 bucks a quart, something like that. It's kind of pricey, but for as much that you get out of it, especially if you want to do something like this, it actually turns out really well. Um, now the smoother your surface is, the better off the image is gonna turn out. Now, we'll be doing six of these. And um, it takes about an hour for the polycrylic to dry. And then you can wipe it off with just water and your hand. That's all you really need. So we're going to start off. I'm going to lay out all six pieces. And I'm going to set a layer of polycrylic on there. And then we're going to put the image on there. Now, when you go to print it out, you want to make sure, like with Mod Podge, that it's reversed sure you can figure out why um, but yeah so let's get started okay so now as I stated earlier what we're gonna do is just gonna apply a moderately liberal coat of this polycrylic onto each piece Make sure it's nice and clean um, now I, I, I put a light coat on these earlier uh, why I'm not entirely certain 
um, but I did it, so it's done. It's too late to go back from that now. Um, but yeah, so I've already gone, branded all the initials of the guys who will be receiving this, and now it's time to just do the dirty work, if you will. So. Okay, so this has been drying for about an hour, maybe a little bit more, um, and now comes the extremely messy process of getting the image off of the paper, or rather the paper off of the wood. Uh, so yeah, anyway, let me try to straighten up, that didn't work, there we go, okay. This is messy, um, and it takes a little bit of time. But, as you can see right here, it actually comes out looking really nice. Uh, you gotta kinda go a little gentle with it after you get the majority of the paper off. Otherwise, you know, on this one, there's a little bit of ink that it came off. Um, some of my other tries weren't nearly as good. Um, but yeah, I've, I've learned quite a bit about this in experimenting with it. So anyway, uh, it's real simple. Here I have a, just a, a dish sponge and a bowl of water right here. Get it, you know, damp. I like to squeeze a little bit out and then just kind of slowly get this soaking wet as wet as you can. And you'll see the image start to come through the back side of the paper and once it's all good and wet then all you gotta do is just start you know like I think it's the same thing with Mod Podge I haven't used it but from what I understand it is the same process um, you know just rub that paper away All right, so here's two examples of uh, these boxes that I built. Now, as far as the rest of this, you saw that I was just rubbing it off. Uh, it's fairly simple, just get it down to where it's mostly clear and then put some more coats of polycrylic on there. And then you get a pretty good image transfer. It would have been better if I was using new wood. Um, but since this is all just sanded down, reclaimed wood, the same stuff as this, because um, it's what I have on hand, some of them turned out kind of shitty, but I think it kind of adds to the rustic feel of the things. So, um, I'm happy for the most part. I am a little pissed off though because, well, my plans didn't work out. These were supposed to have hinges on them, but I didn't cut the rabbits on the lids deep enough, so, and it's already done. I didn't test fit. I'm learning from my mistakes. I'm still 
real, you know, pretty brand new to the whole woodworking. So, um, yeah. Anyway, that's it. These are done. They will be delivered tonight, which will be yesterday for the YouTube channel. Um, anyway, as you saw, the lids had Mike and the Moon Pies logos on there. Go check them out. Trust me. They're awesome. See you later.